beautiful little fluffy. Hey y'all, so today we are going to be doing a first impressions and try on of some e.l.f. products that I had got a couple weeks ago. I haven't used them yet, so pretty excited. Um, let me just rattle off what we have here today. Um, we are going to be using the e.l.f. Lock On Face Primer. This is a new-ish product. Um, I heard it is like glue on your skin. I also have this e.l.f. High Shine Gloss that is in Crushed Berries. I also have this 3-in-1 Mascara in Very Black. I've never tried any of their mascaras before. I know that they're kind of hit and miss. Um, I have a baked eyeshadow in Enchanted. I also have this. It is a shimmering facial whip in Pink Lemonade. Right here. It does say on the box that it says perfect for highlighting. That is really pink, so I don't think that I'll be using that for highlighter, but I'll definitely use it as a blush. Um, and then I do have these. I did take them out of the packaging, but I haven't swatched them yet. Just because where I have them stored, like for my products that I want to test out, I didn't have room for them in there in the packaging. Um, but they are these little cream shadow guys right here. Um, let me see. I kept the little card that they came in. Um, they are the smudge pots, and I have them in the shades brownie points and the shade cruise and chic. So. We will be trying, I don't know if we'll try both of them out today. Um, actually, we'll go ahead and swatch them. So this one is Cruise and Chic, and this one is Brownie Points. So I don't think that we're going to use both of them today, but we'll definitely use one. I'm kind of leaning towards Brownie Points because it's so rich and beautiful. Cruise and Chic does seem like it's a little bit more metallic than Brownie Points, um, but they are still both metallic, but Cruise and Chic just seems to have like a little extra oomph. So we're going to try those out today. And then I do have a highlighter that I bought sometime before this, but I don't, I don't remember if I like it or not. Um, I mean, I haven't had it for very long. Um, I think I've used it once. So we're going to try that out today as well. It's this highlight right here, and it is in the shade Moonlight Pearls. I'll just go ahead and swatch this one too. Oh, I can get it open. I'll have to see once I get it on my skin, but it seems very sheer. It's probably like more of like a natural highlight. So I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. Well, we'll just have to see once we get it on my skin. So let me grab a wipe and take off all these swatches because I know that I'm going to touch my face and ruin something at some point. So I forgot to mention that I did get a few new brushes from e.l.f. as well. It was just some that they were having a sale on, um, so they're kind of random. Uh, most of them are eye brushes, um, but I did get this stippling brush right here. Let's see, it's just the e.l.f. stipple brush. Um, I got this brush here. It is the Cheek Cream and Powder brush. Um, so I also got just this flat shader brush right here. And I got this crease brush right here. It's pretty fluffy, um, but it's still pretty small, so it'd be more of like a detailed crease brush. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is called the Blending Brush. It is, again, kind of like a, it's more of like a shader brush to me. And then I got these very small detail eye brushes. I think I want to go in with my eyes first. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and prime with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm also going to be supplementing a couple shadows from my ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. It is this one right here. We're going to go in with the e.l.f. blending brush right here. It is this uh, flat paddle brush, which I have used a couple of these already, and I do like them. And we're going to go in with this shade. I'm going to use this just to set my lid from my lash line to my brow bone. So I'm going to go in with this large fluffy brush, and I am going to go into the... Whoop, I'm going to go into this shade, and we're going to blend that into my crease for a transition shade. I 
I know I want to use the Smudge Pop Brownie points. Um, and I do want to point out that on um, this product, like the little card thing that it came with, it does say that these are long-lasting eyeshadows and eyeliners. So first, I'm going to go in and apply it with my finger and just see what kind of coverage we get with that. So I'm just going to swirl my finger in there. Now for some reason, whenever I'm applying this, it's coming across really muddy. It, it's just like, uh, it's definitely not as metallic as it was. I'm actually going to take this shader brush right here and try to pick up some more of that product. so weird it's like where it's meeting the um transition shade it's going like gray it's really weird i don't know what to think about this it's so weird because if you look at it right here i mean look at that and compared to my eye it looks completely different i mean it looks more like this one I really wanted to have my coppery moment today. Um, okay. I'm going to try to put some shadows around this, blend it out, and see what we can do. We're going to go in with this detailed blending brush, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, okay. We're going to make it work. All you gotta do with makeup is just make it work. <laughs> Something isn't going right, you make it work. Hmm. Okay, let's do the same thing to the other eye and just kind of go from there. Oh. I'm gonna go in with the first brush that we set our eyeshadow with, and I'm gonna go in with the first transition shade right here that I used and I'm just gonna just very lightly try to blend out these edges. I'm gonna tap on just a little bit more of the smudge pot on my lid. Okay, that's a little, a little better. So, work to move on. <laughs> I'm kind of over my eyes right now. Um, so as far as these smudge pots go, um, don't expect them to remain the same color. I don't, I can't speak for all of the colors, but I can speak for this color right here. So I'm just gonna kind of clean up my eyeshadow right here. Another product that I did get um, it is not e.l.f. It's a Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Lacquer Liner. So it comes with your eyeliner in this tube right here, and it also comes with this little bitty brush. It's really black. I mean, it's, it's very creamy. It's like a gel liquid hybrid formula. Okay, so I actually really like this eyeliner. It's very black, it's very, very matte, which I don't like shiny eyeliner. Um, so I love that about this one. Um, but yeah, so this eyeliner, definitely a win. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some Dior Show uh, mascara. I just have this little cute mini. I'm gonna put that on the lashes to prep for falsies. So I'm gonna pop on a fresh pair of Kiss Lashes from the Lash Couture line in the style Midnight. I forgot to use the three-in-one mascara. I'll just have to use that in a video some other time. We are gonna move on to the face right now. Um, I am going to get this primer out. It is the Lock On Face Primer. Um, it is clear. 
just to let you know. Oh, this is what it looks like right here. Very sleek matte black packaging. Um, and it does come with a pump. Um, so that is the kind of consistency of it. It is thick. Like, it kind of looks like glue. No scent. Um, I mean, I would say if you have oily skin, I mean, this might be a godsend for you, you know, keep on your primer. Wow. It is very sticky. Just rub it in. Yeah, it feels like I'm putting Elmer's glue all over my face. Ooh, that is sticky. You know what? Just for the hell of it, I'm going to apply it to my whole face and see how that feels. <laughs> yeah, so I would say the best thing to do would be to pat this in. Holy crap. I mean, you see this? Look at this. I will let you know down in the description box if it, um, you know, how it lasts on me throughout the rest of the day. Because it is only, it's, well, it's 12.56 right now, so we'll see. Now that my hands are sufficiently sticky, um, it doesn't make my face look any different. Um, my pores are definitely not concealed, so you might want to go in with a, a pore filler if you, you know, have problems like that. Like, my pores right here, I mean, they're huge. Um, so I think I am going to go in with just the teeny, teeny, tiniest bit of my Revlon, um, pore reducing primer. Just right here on the sides of my nose. For my foundation combination today, I am going to go in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in 01 Creamy, uh, in 01 Creamy Vanilla. And I'm going to mix that in with my Dermacol foundation in 209. I have my foundation on and I mean it doesn't really look any different than it normally does. The claims um, that are on the back of the box, it says lock on face primer. Get long lasting makeup. Wear this makeup gripper while hydrating and refreshing your skin. This gel-like texture melts into the skin, creating the perfect prime canvas for smooth makeup application. Directions apply to cleanse skin, massage upwards and outwards, pat until fully absorbed. My skin doesn't look really any different than it normally does. Um, I don't really think that it has smoothed my skin very much. It definitely really didn't feel that hydrating, um, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of here for like the long lasting part of it. You know, how is it going to last on me? Um, is it going to break down whenever my nose gets oily or like between my brows gets oily? I'm going to go in and conceal with my Maybelline Fit Me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. I did apply my brows. I used my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. I'm going to go in with the new stipple brush from e.l.f. that I picked up and bronze up my skin. And I am going to go in with my Cargo Blush in Bali. Looks like this right here. Just gonna go back in with my bronzer brush just to blend those back together. I'm gonna tone down that blush just a little bit. So we are going to try out this e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlit, I, I keep on to say Moonlit, in Moonlight Pearl. This would probably be more of one that I use on a day whenever I'm going for like, you know, like a no makeup makeup look.
Now I'm going to take one of these smaller detail brushes and and I'm going to go in with the Baked Elf Eyeshadow in the shade Enchanted and I'm going to put that right here on like my inner corner. Okay, so I'm touching it and no product is coming off on my brush at all. Ooh, that! Okay, let me see if you can hear that. Like, nothing. My little stork scissors. And we're going to scrape the top of this. I mean, even the, the powder that I scraped off, it's not even that pigmented. This isn't gonna work. Uh -oh. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna pop this on my inner corner here. We are going to go in with the High Shine Intense Lip Gloss in the shade Crushed Berries. I want to see if it is opaque enough to wear on its own or if you kind of need to layer it on top of another product. Ooh, so swatched, it looks very opaque. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, so it's definitely opaque enough to where you can wear it on its own. This is an absolute beautiful gloss. I'm gonna take it off because I have a lipstick that I wanna layer it on top of. The lipstick that I wanna layer this on top of is Cabernet by Hikari. Oh, yeah. This is the perfect combination. I mean, the, the colors are so similar. I'm gonna set everything in place with my L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. So here's our final look from all of the makeup that we tried today. Um, so what worked for me and what didn't. The highlighter, I definitely liked it. I'll probably use it on a day where um, I'm going for minimal makeup or, you know, kind of more natural makeup. Um, the lip gloss, absolutely love. This, I mean, I... I want to go and buy all the shades. It's very comfortable. It's not sticky whatsoever. I absolutely love it. Um, the primer, so far so good. I mean, my makeup, it it's not breaking down at all. Um, uh, like I said, I will update you down in the description bar down below whether or not it lasted on me all day, if it broke up, anything like that. Uh, what else? This baked eyeshadow is probably going to go in the trash. Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Lacquer Liner. Love it. These smudge pots right here, I'm, I have mixed feelings on. I'm not sure if I like them yet or not. Um, I mean, yes, they, they're not creasing right now. Um, not as intense and the color didn't stay as true as I wanted it to. So, I mean, they're they're good, but the color just wasn't there for me. I mean, this shade right here is not the same color that's on my lid, and that's really what I was going for. Maybe it was whenever I had set my lid with that um, skin tone eyeshadow. Maybe that just didn't mix well with it. So I am going to work with those just to see if I can get them to work and be the color that I want them to be. Because whenever they were swatched on my hand, they were still beautiful. So we'll keep trying those out. Um, what else? What else? I think that was it. Um, I didn't get to try the mascara because I forgot. And I didn't use this either. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop blabbing now. I am going to go get on some warm clothes and grab my honey and we are going to go outside and play in our Texas snow. Everything that I use today will be listed down below. Um, my necklace will be linked as well if you're interested in that. I think that's it. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.